I'm just walking with my producer, Joe West, of the producer here, Dave Pahanish, singer extraordinaire, producers extraordinaire. These guys are responsible for the song, Do You Believe Me Now? They wrote it with another writer, Tim Johnson. These guys are absolutely amazing. This is the old RCA building. This is where Elvis Presley recorded, right there in that room. Are you right? Right there. Bam. That's a big studio. We're getting ready to go into this building. Mm. Sequence letters. Ooh, I see. Gasoline. Let's make a left. Here we go. Do you believe me now? And this is where I recorded. Do you believe me now? Well, here we are, guys. We're Gasoline Studios. This is where it all happened, guys. I mean, right here is 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 the studio. Do you believe me now? Was done right here. Mm -hmm. We actually, I mean, really, man, get to experience the process from the very beginning, from the very beginning of a hit song, right here. This is the track before there was even lyrics, That's right. before there was even music. It was just the acoustic guitar. Listen to that. Right here. Ha! Wow. How amazing is that? It's unbelievable. So what they did is they built a track around what Dave's doing right here. They presented the tracks without any vocals, just the na-na-na's, gave it to Tim Johnson, he wrote lyrics to this melody. He said that he spent all that time, like at Starbucks, he said he spent days making it work around that melody because really? the melody was so difficult, yeah. non-traditional, that he, you know, he wanted to make sure that every element of that melody was preserved. Well, originally, ah. oddly enough, the chorus was, ooh, yeah, na 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 and they were like, oh, that part was so cool, but it just seemed like it... It didn't have the... It wasn't it working as the chorus. So when we when we thought it needed a bridge, we were like, oh, why don't we use that original chorus? And yeah. So the bridge used to be the chorus. That's correct. The chances of stumbling across this song, the timing, the stars, the stars were in line. I think I was sitting somewhere right here. I, no, I was sitting right there you were right here joe was right there so we got up and we walked just like that's this right, that's right. we walked just like exam room we walked just like this and i was getting ready to leave just like this all right guys you take care and joe said jimmy i've got a song will you mind listening to it yes and another thing that was cool is Jimmy has a unique style of guitar playing, this tap thing that he does that's yeah, just ultra guitar. cool. So and awesome we were like, oh, if only we could find a way to put that in the song and make it to where it was kind of featured. And that is the, the sound after the intro starts, um, when it all breaks down, there's this... Here, take this, I'll take the camera. Yeah, man. All right. This is, the, this is like, we didn't really... We had just loved the way Jimmy would play. He has this thing where... Is this tuned down? No, yeah. that's in standard. All right, guys, it's like this. Check this out. How do I zoom out? Let me zoom out just a little this, bit. Um, it, this button right here. Okay. Can you zoom in on the fingers right here? Check this out right here, man. This is cool. All that stuff was just like uniquely you. And I'm okay, something like this. Yeah, that stuff. Something like this. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Come on, Dave. Here we go. Here we go, starting it over. You say the lead, they don't do the harmony. Do you remember? And, of course, after uh, about a week and a half, I come back to the studio, pulled this microphone out. We stood right here. 
I stood right here in this spot in front of this microphone Dave sat on that couch Joe sat right there he pushed all the buttons I believe with all my heart that this thing's gonna go to number one let's hope man I believe I believe do you guys believe I believe do you believe me now <laughs> on Capital Shed. It's Mike Bride from US 95.7 in San Diego. I wanted to uh, tell you <clears throat> that, I, now this is just me, but I think you have something with this Jimmy Wayne single. Um, and why do I think that? Well, I've listened to it about 14 times in a row on the way home, and I love the way it masterfully builds up to a crescendo right in the chorus, and I mean just punches you in the hook. Uh, big, big, big hook. Catch it, and you got your and you find yourself singing it. Um, and so, if it's any indication, I, I think you got a hit. <laughs>